Hello, 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 my beautiful people. This is Anita from Miss Anita TV. Welcome back to my channel. Yay, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing great, guys. I'm doing very, very good, as you can see. Oh, my God. I'm so good. I feel so good. Just seeing this day alone, it means a lot to me. So, guys, today going to be a little bit different. Today, I want to prepare... Cameroon Ogbono soup. Cameroon Ogbono soup, guys. So, if you want to see how I prepare my Cameroon Ogbono soup, you have to go with me to the kitchen. So, guys, I'm going now to the kitchen. So, go with me and stay tuned as I go along the journey of cooking this soup with me. All right, guys. As I was saying, today is really a special video. So what I'm going to do now is to introduce to you guys uh, the ingredients that we're going to use to prepare the soup. So as you can see, I've got all my ingredients here. I know some people will be saying that is so much, but believe me, guys, uh, I'm working. So I always like to cook, to prepare it in a large quantity. So it will take me like a week. So I'm gonna start here. We have a goosey. I don't know how other people call it, but I call it a goosey, or the Cameroon people call it a goosey. And in French, they call it pistache. So let me speak French, it's very important. And uh, here we have our obono, and here we have our uh, uh, cow skin. Uh, Nigeria people call it pomo, something like that. Yeah, and here we have our stockfish. Here we have our bitter leaf, and here we have our meat. I'm going to use uh, goat meat for the video of today. And here we have our uh, fish. A fried is a mackerel, as they call it. So it's fried. And here at the corner is our pepper. We're going to use pepper and some crayfish. And here we have our okra. And... The two beef stock you see here, this is the one I used to, to prepare the stock feed, and this is the one I used to prepare the goat meat. Mind you guys, everything was washed, and I uh, steam it with uh, spices, so it's well prepared before some people will say, why are you using the water, why are you using the water? So everything is ready guys, so what I'm going to do now is to start right away with the cooking of the soup. So what I'm going to do is to use the beef stock. I'm going to start this way. Voila. We pour our beef stock in the pot. Okay. Uh, please don't judge me. Eh? This is just my own way to cook the soup. So we, everybody has his own way or her own way of preparing the soup, but this is just my own way to prepare my Cameroon or Bono soup. So I'm going to let it cook. Voila. As you can see, I'm going to let it cook for like five minutes because my fire, trust me guys, is 180 degrees Celsius. Very hot. So in five minutes, <laughs> the pot will be boiling and then we are going to start with the first ingredient. So see you guys when we start with the first ingredient. All right. As you can see, my people is boiling. I told you, I said in five minutes, uh, you won't believe what's gonna happen. So as you can see, I added some red oil, palm wine, from palm oil, especially from Cameroon. So I'm going to add my egusi. Some people love doing the egusi in little lumps. But I don't like it that way, so I'm just gonna put my egusi like this. I'm just gonna add it into the sauce, okay? So it will look like this. So I'm having intervals of two, two to three, three minutes before I could add the next ingredients. So now I'm just gonna wait for two, three minutes to add my next ingredients. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, time for my special obono. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So, like I say, guys, my intervals is two to minutes, two to three minutes. 
So in two minutes, I'm gonna put the next spices. Voila. <laughs> Guys, when you want to eat fufu and soup, you can see her. It's exactly how I want it to look like. So now we are going to add our pepper and crayfish. Okay. <laughs> the way I'm cooking it, you guys, you know that I'm a chef in the kitchen. <laughs> so now I put my crayfish and pepper. I'm not going to let it boil for very long. I will just uh, leave it like this. Why I'm going to add my goat meat. Voila. Okay. I'm going to add my tanda cow skin for people that don't know but people that knows the deal people that knows the real thing you know they know that kanda is a real stuff so i'm going to add my kanda in the soup voila <laughs> it's coming guys it's coming it's coming so get yourself ready buy your gari buy your water fufu buy whatever you have buy your rice you can boil your rice because it goes with absolutely everything. You see? So, it's coming. Wow. Wow, my people. So, I'm just going to add the stock fish directly. Okay. So it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Good. Ah, oh, I remember when we used to be small back home when my grandmother is preparing soup like this. Hey! Anywhere she sends me, I'm ready to go. Like I'm going. Because <laughs> if you just claim a little bit of stubbornness, you're not going to eat. And you see such a delicious pot of soup. You miss it. <laughs> it's not possible. Send me anywhere. I'm ready to go. Anything you ask me to do, <laughs> Anita is doing it. So, guys, as you can see, I've just added my meat, my cow skin, and my stockfish. So, I'm going to taste mm, our own way. Very good. It's really going, but I need to add some Maggi cubes. Mind you, my people, you know, the, the, the beef stock, it, it has uh, maggi and salt, you know, when you want to pre-cook, like, uh, your meat to, to prepare soup, you have to add maggi and salt. So, I already have some maggi and salt already in the spices, in the meat and the stock fish. And I still have some salt and maggi in the fish. So, I have to, at this point or at this stage, you have to be very, very careful. You know, if not, you can fuck up big time. So, you have to be sure, you when you put in, you have to be tasting it, just to make sure you don't fuck up, you know, because it's so bad that uh, the maggi over-tasted or the salt is so much. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook again. At this stage, I'm going to leave it for like three to four minutes. I'm going to leave it for like three to four minutes because I want everything to go together, my people. Everything gonna gonna mix together. Hmm? So we, we are coming right back. Welcome back. Welcome back, my beautiful people. Oh my god. Okay. Welcome back. So we keep going. This is how we roll. This is how we roll. <laughs> Some people will be asking me why I've not put the fish, but I'll put it last. So now I'm going to put my Italy. My hands are watch. So So I've added my bitterly, I'm gonna see. A 
Immediately I put my bitter leaf. I'm just going to add my okra. I'm going to add my okra directly because I don't want the bitter leaf to be brown. It has to stay green because it's vegetable. So immediately you put vegetable and then you have to know it's almost time. It's almost ready. So our soup is almost there. In five minutes, it's good to go. You can start to swallow. So guys, tell me what you prefer to eat with such soup. If you prefer it with rice, if you prefer, prefer it with fufu, if you prefer it with gari, just let me know on the comment section what you prefer to eat with this delicious Ogbono soup. Voila. So now I'm going to add, I think it's okay like this because I don't want so much uh, bitter leaf. So this I'm going to leave it. Maybe I will use it for something else. So guys, this is our okra. As I'm putting my okra, I'm not going to close the pot anymore. So, so I know some people will be drinking water. Just looking at the soup. <laughs> hey, don't drink water. I'll just go and buy your fufu or gary and join me. Let's enjoy ourselves. I can't kill myself, oh, I can't kill myself, you know? <laughs> Life now one. What goes in my tummy is mine. What goes in my tummy is mine. Okay, so now is the last part of it. I'm going to add my fried fish. For people that knows the what's up, you know why I'm putting this fish last? I'm not gonna tell you because you guys already know how it works. Why I'm putting this the last? You guys already know. So. So, this is how it looks like. So my people, this is a soup. I'm just gonna leave it for like two, three minutes again. Yeah. All right, my beautiful people. So as you can see, the soup was a little bit thick, so I added some water, but not too much, just a little bit. It depends how you want it to look like. I always like it a little bit thick, you know, but some people prefer it watery. So just add more water the way you, you, you prefer it to be. So for me, it's like this and I really like it that way, you know, so this is it. This is the end of it, my beautiful people. I want to say thank you guys so much. For going through this journey of cooking Cameroon Obono soup with me. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also turn on the notification button so you're gonna receive all the signals whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much, and I love you guys so much.